Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can create pagination. So for pagination, let's create the UI first. So I will create a component pagination.jsx and I will paste the code here. So this is going to be our client component and we are getting a total pages as a prop for the component. And then we're getting the current path using the use path name hook and the params object using this use search params hook. And we're expecting a page query parameter, which will be a number. If it's not a number, then it should be one. And then we have two links. First link will just decrement the page query parameter and same thing for this button. Now let's go to the post.jsx file where we display all the posts and if you go to the bottom we have this posts component and i will add the pagination component here and pass total pages and it also should come from the posts component and the pagination should be outside this div now let's go to the server action file post.jsx sorry post.js we can expect some options in the options object we will accept a current page uh, option and by default it will be one and then i want posts per page default would be 10 and now we need to create the starting index and the ending index. Let me show you the documentation first. So we will be using the range function to create our range of post. So it takes two parameter, the starting index, the ending index. And this index is actually zero base like an array. So let's say you want to get the first 10 posts, then your starting index will be zero and the ending index will be nine. It will give you the first 10 posts. You can read the documentation and let's create the starting and ending index. We want to decrement the current page number by one. So current page minus one and we want to multiply with posts per page and let's get the ending index it will be the current page multiply posts per page minus one and let's put this inside a parentheses and now we want to get the total number of posts that is available or the total number of rows in the table. We can do that using the count option in the query, sorry, in the select, uh, select method. So we will pass count. There are several options. You have exact, planned, estimated. You can check the documentation, but we will use exact. It will give you the exact amount of rows that uh, a table has. And the return response, we have data and error, but we also now have count. And I will rename this to total posts. And with this information, now we can calculate the total number of pages available. So this will be the logic. If total post is more than zero, then we're gonna divide the total post by the post per page. Otherwise, the value would be zero. And we can send this response. Total pages and total posts. And now we can use this data for the pagination. Let's go to the page.jsx file for the home page. And here we can get the query parameter, search params, and let's get the page.
this gate current page parse int page base will be till otherwise the value would be one and then we can pass the current page option to the get all post function if there is no post we will display a header no post found and we will also return total pages and now we need to pass the range so call the range method and pass the setting and any index now our pagination should work and as you can see now we have only nine sorry ten posts one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and let's go to the next page and again we have ten posts now go to the last page and now we have the last remaining post and there is no more pages available so our pagination is working totally fine so that's it for today in the next video we will learn about rls or role level security so until then stay safe goodbye